Hi, everybody. Michael Bull here. Uh, today we're going to talk about digital badges, how to bring digital badges to your organization, perhaps to your classroom, perhaps to the world. It's pretty exciting stuff. Hopefully you'll find this exciting as well. Hey, don't worry. I break up the uh, videos here into sections, and I'll show you those sections in a moment. So you can start and stop as you see fit. You can skip around as you see fit, and you can always repeat as you see fit, especially if I talk too fast. Here we go. A little bit about me. Uh, I work at Concordia International School in Shanghai, China. I'm an international educator and have been for quite a few years. I'm a technology coach here for the middle school. Yeah, go middle school. Uh, if you're ever interested in teaching overseas, just shoot me an email. I'll give you that information in a moment. Uh, I am an American, so I hang out in uh, Oregon during the summers. And as you can see, that's a picture of the happy family at a place called Crater Lake. And so that makes me a father, parent, and husband as well as a tech coach. Yeah. Okay. Next up, here's how you can get in contact with me. You can always follow me at Autism Podcast. Uh, I used to, I used to, currently, and still do have a son with autism. So in the past, I did a podcast about autism, hence the name. Uh, you, can, you can contact me by email, michael at innovativepd.com. You can always check in with me at LinkedIn. Uh, my website address is michaelbowl.me. And by the way, you'll find a bunch of resources there. And if you want to listen to a regular podcast that I do with two other people here at Concordia, check us out, podcast.concordiashanghai.org. Here's the takeaways. And each of these below, this is what uh, we're going to, this is where I'll break up the videos. So each of these will be separate sections. So this will give you the opportunity to skip around as you see fit. First section is what is digital badges? Uh, it's kind of good to explain what the whole thing is. A lot of people, are, I find, are still unfamiliar with it. That's fine because it's pretty new. Uh, knowing the tech behind the digital badges, how to get all that working, the nerdy stuff. Uh, bringing badges to your classroom. So if you want to bring it to your individual classroom, totally possible. If you have the ability to bring it to an organization, such as your school, your school building, your district, or whatever you want to call it, uh, we'll talk about that. That's what we do here at Concordia International School. As a tech coach, I don't have a class specifically, so I, I'm more motivated to bring it to an organization. Then we'll talk about the future of badges. It's pretty cool stuff there. It gives us a reason to adopt badges in the first place because the future it looks awesome. Uh, if you want to find this particular presentation, including a bunch of other links and resources, you can do that. Just head to my website, michaelbull.me. And as you can see here, you just go to presentations and workshops. Click on one hour plus workshops, and then here, bring badges to your classroom or school. Let's understand these digital badges. Let's figure out what they're all about. Here's a bunch of examples right here of digital badges for a organization called the Learning 2.0 Organization. It's here in Asia. It's going to be hosted in Singapore this year, actually. And these are badges that are awarded to people who participate in that event, doing different things. Let's introduce open badges. We can thank the Mozilla Foundation, really, for taking badges to a whole new level. Badges, recognition, and let's say ribbons, they've been awarded for thousands of years. We can look back to the Romans and before to see examples of badges and medals that were given to people. The point of badges is to encourage positive behavior for a group or society or an organization or whatever you want. If you give people public recognition, they will be very happy, and they will quite likely repeat that behavior. Uh, the difference here with the digital badges is that this a badge you award can now be stored for the student or the individual forever, we'll see, long time at least, and then it can be displayed on various web presences all over the world. Pretty nifty. It's free and open because it's uh, open source and the uh, Mozilla Foundation is nonprofit. You can take your badges with you. You can knit your skills together so you can have different organizations award you a badge. And they're full of information, something called metadata, which is a way for, uh, see, individuals or hiring organizations to do due diligence and to be able to check back and verify that this is a real badge. There we go. This infographic totally explains it, right? Here it is, right there. And I'll break this infographic down in a moment. If you want to hear some more information, you can always go to a podcast I did with Emily Goligowski. Uh, she works for the Open Badges group at the Mozilla Foundation, and we talked for about 30 minutes all about badges. It's pretty cool. I enjoyed that interview quite a bit. You can get to it by clicking on here, and you can get to it from our website, podcast.concordiashanghai.org. Welcome to another Concordia like. EdTech podcast. Let me endure all that. All right.
this is that infographic. We're breaking it down. Here we go. So these are the awarders, the people who can award the badges. By the way, anybody can award a badge. Mozilla just hosts all this stuff. They just host the backpack. They have nothing to do with who can award a badge or uh, proving whether a badge should be awarded or not. That's totally up to you. So you could have a chef school or let's say a regular school, perhaps where you are. Uh, let's say you're an online teacher. Let's say you were just the community and they wanted to encourage people to participate in their volunteer program. All these people can award badges. But when they award that badge, it goes to the learner here, perhaps one of our students, and then they, because of Mozilla Foundation's Open Badge Pack program, can put it in a badge backpack. Cool. Got the award sitting in a backpack. What do I do with that badge now? And here we are. From the badge backpack, the learner or awardee or person, or whatever you want to call them, can then display that badge. It's cool to be publicly recognized, but it's even cooler to be able to show other people you've been publicly recognized. It sets you apart from other individuals and gives you something to strive for and gives those individuals something to strive for. From the badge backpack, the learner, at their choice, they totally decide what they want to display. Maybe they want to display stuff from high school now, and maybe when they're 20 years older, they don't want to display the high school stuff. Or maybe they do, because it's fun to go retro. Anyways, they can display it on their website, Facebook, Twitter. This is WordPress here. Yeah, they can print it out if they want as well and put it up and have it as a, I don't know, a plaque or something in their room. And the idea behind this is then that it will create job opportunities, because people will be able to search for badges. Uh, it'll show you're a lifelong learner and unlock new possibilities. That's probably where we are right now because this whole digital badge concept is pretty new. It's got a long way to go. And if you get involved with it, you'll be on the cutting edge. And that's the kind of person you are, right? I hope so. All right, here's the whole infographic together. Again, we have people awarding. The learner goes to Badge Backpack. They display it, and their life has changed forever. Right? Right. All right, here's the metadata. This is a sample. So, for example, at Concordia, we award students uh, a badge here for something called the Will Foundation. It's a community service organization. And they do 20 plus hours or more service hours and they get this badge. Now, if I want, I can click on their badge, wherever they display it from, I can click on that and I get this metadata. So this is the data behind the badge, which makes it a little bit different. And it allows me to verify that badge. I could contact Concordia right now and say, hey, did Joey really get that 20 plus service hours badge? And the person at Concordia will say, well, yes, of course he did. Uh, in the real world, a more practical use might be if I claim that I'm like a level three programmer for Ruby on Rails or something like that, I could put the organization, let's say Stanford, that issued that badge to me, and then you as the employer could verify that and contact them if you want to. It doesn't mean people do that. It just means there's an opportunity to do that. Generally, we take each other for our word, right? All right, this video does a nice job of explaining everything I just talked about. It's put together by a young person. It's pretty awesome. Enjoy. When we're done with this video, we'll move on to the exciting stuff, the tech of badges. Learning today happens everywhere. At school, outside of school, at your friend's place, in online MOOCs, at your local art museum. The possibilities are endless. Yet being recognized for all the projects you're passionate about is, well, difficult. Transcripts and resumes don't always paint a complete and vibrant picture of all you can do. Say that you're learning to speak Italian and that you're also taking an online course to learn how to build a website about your love for Italy. On the weekends, you teach kids in your neighborhood how to cook traditional Italian food. You're busy learning a lot between in-person instruction, online videos and mentoring other people. What if you could be recognized for all you do? What if your passions could be stacked alongside your work and academic achievements? Well, Mozilla's Open Badges were created to help you do just that and get recognized for all you do online and offline. You've probably earned physical or digital badges before. Open Badges are similar in that they can help you celebrate skills you've demonstrated. 
but these have much more than just a pretty picture. Open badges are information rich, which means they carry loads of valuable data and can be displayed all around the web. They include something called metadata. Think of metadata as lots of information that can tell you what makes something special, like a photo. Its metadata could let you know where it was taken and what type of camera was used. With open badges, metadata contains information that is uniquely tied to you, including the issuer who gave you the badge, the criteria you had to meet to get it, and the delicious work you submitted. You can earn badges from many issuers, including educational organizations, companies, non-for-profits, and people with knowledge to share. As you take courses and gain knowledge, you can use what is called a backpack, an online dashboard where you can store your badges and create collections. You can then choose to display badges you're proud of across your social and professional networks, blogs and portfolios. Then family, friends and even potential employers can check out your work and support you as you pursue new learning opportunities and jobs. Thousands of organizations and individuals around the world are already contributing to Open Badges. Come along and join us. Let's celebrate your success together.